You want to live. There's no need. There's no urgency to take this tower when it's only eight or nine, ten minutes in game. You know, there's no need. You can do it anytime. It's still very early. You taken the first dragon. You're easy. You easily got the second one, which just made it even easier to pretty much win that game, giving you uh, more damage to towers and buildings. Um, so yeah, completing the Triforce. Now you, you're out in the field around the 14, 13, 15 minute mark. Now, what do I buy? Merc second? Okay, I don't want to upgrade. Uh, I don't want to get Mercs because it's going to leave me with nothing to complete my jungle item with. And which would be perfectly fine if you didn't complete it. But, you know, you want to complete that. You can actually, I guess, you know. No, yeah, you can just go back instead of buying mercs use the 875 to buy a kindle gem and then you would only need 600 gold to get the juggernaut uh and then there there you go tenacity 500 yeah, hp 10 percent cdr puts you at 20 percent when you have blue 30 percent and then now you can pretty much build a tank from here on out or build another 80 item like a blade of the ruined king you know there's no need to get a zephyrs it, it like i said it only delays the game when you already have somebody that's super fed that can shit all over everybody but he can't do that if you're building items you, you're, you're building and if you're out doing your own thing when all you had to do is pretty much just peel for ezra at that point of course you know if you're peeling for ezra at that point then after killing the enemy team you go do your own thing unless of course you put enough pressure and you build items like i said you were and you would have been able to easily carry that so we're spectating silver five bad religion uh and uh, uh the new jungle it looks like he gets decoy second why the fuck did he get decoy second it looks like blue buff ain't having it today he is not gonna be able to do this people he is about to die Why the fuck did he get W? If he gets if he gets his crush and blow, gives him 120 30 uh plus okay, th deals 30 plus 101 physical damage, reduces the enemy's armor by 10% for three seconds. This is uh this is a struggle. You gotta get your fucking E and then your your Q, man. Your Q. You have to get your E, your attack speed. You need that. This is why, you know, uh, you know, it's it, I would definitely not recommend somebody like Wukong and these lower yellows. This is season five jungle, guys. This is no joke, man. These things fucking hurt, man. If you don't know how to get through the jungle, you need to, you know, you you need to like change up your runes and masteries, like running AD and then getting life steal points, you know, just to be able to get it. Now, you know, life steal, whoa, doesn't scale into what do you call it uh, later on with you know your your R, but it doesn't matter. You, if you don't know how to get through this, then this is the pretty much what you need to build. Lee Sin picked up red buff, and while you're struggling on your thing, uh, your blue, he got a kill for top lane. So now you're pretty much, you're behind right now. Now you're gonna go over to your red buff, your smite is down for 47 seconds, probably better off doing wolf camp, and just trying to farm to level six, and trying to get the levels, uh, trying to get your level six, yeah, uh, to, to actually be able to do something and not fall too far behind right now. He's scared right now of uh, Lee Sin after seeing him gank top, but there's really nothing to be scared of. Nobody's really that baldy. So he gets decoy. He's not going to be able to do this either. Red buff is like, hold on, man. You know, I got I got my kids right here, and you're trying to come up to me. You know, you know I'm, I, got, I got a fucking fire pit on my back, and, you know, we just ain't having it today. I'm going to have you decoy out, and I'm going to take it out. You get that 35 gold and tell you to go heal. So it looks like with no smite being up, he has to go back and heal again. And, oh my god, he doesn't have machete. Uh, is this guy trolling me? You gotta build machete, man. Why the fuck does he have a longsword? He's... So, yeah, you gotta start jungle item. I don't know why he started longsword. I just now realize he started longsword. You gotta start machete. Yo, Moblins, thank you for subbing and donate, man. Alright, Moblin says, um, yeah, Trick, I love your stream, man. Been watching for almost six months now. Ever since watching, I've learned a lot, and it's why I've gotten better. I love cu watching because it's one of the things I do when I'm stressed out and watching. Let me go. I gotta go. It already ran out. Fuck, okay. And let's see. 
because it's one of the things I do when I'm stressed out, and watching always makes me feel great. Keep doing what you do, and doing, man. Uh, much love. Thanks. And here's Toucan, guys. Young Toucan uh, is like, yo, man, I got my kids here. I ain't gonna let you embarrass me without taking 75% of your HP. It's a struggle, man. I can already see. He's just gonna be so far behind. So far behind. And Lee Sin on the other team is fucking silver playing him. I don't even know why he's playing this in, but he's got two kills, so uh, has that extra slow. Chillin' Smite's actually pretty good, guys. Um, I like it a lot. 50% slow plus um, a, true, a little bit of true damage on top of uh, uh, our top. On oh, that slow, whatever. He has to go back, level 3, almost level 4, 6 minutes in. His next buff is not spawning anytime soon because he had to go back after doing Toad. Trailblazing is going to make it a little bit easier. Probably should have stayed in base and tried to full mana up. This is definitely going to be a struggle. Um, yo, Spear Hater X, welcome, man. I'm going to go ahead and turn this off, the sound. Drop it down a little bit. I want this to be a distraction. Where is it, though? Um, he says, I got banned from your chat for an hour from my love of Toucan and emotes. You cannot silence the people. Every enjoying the stream best, Wukong NA. Um, someone hour ban you rip so i don't know what he's doing invading the enemy jungle but no <laughs> three levels at least since i hold on man this dude's level three it's seven minutes in i'm gonna go hunt this guy so there's a pink ward in that bush at least since smelling blood right now seeing him seeing how uh, wukong is level three so toad's gonna definitely do a lot of damage i actually might come over here and kill him no he's gonna get young scuds All right, so there's his level four. Lee Sin coming bot. He's not really gonna do anything. He just needs to farm. <clears throat> All right, so Karma gonna get that movement speed. Let's a Q. Gets that nicely done by Corky getting the kill, and Wukong just gonna watch from the back. Hook comes out, does land. There's the uppercut. The Tempest. Wukong slides in, drops a decoy. They do see him. So right there, Wukong showing bot, you know, he's level 4. You know, if I'm the enemy jungle, I'm like, oh my god, this Wukong's so far behind. It's 8 minutes in. Oh, I know his blue's about to start, you know. Uh, especially if he showed when he went inside uh, Lee Sin's jungle that he had red buff. Seeing that he didn't have blue, that means, you know, with blue wearing off, uh, he started uh, blue. So that's right there is a free invade for Lee. He still has, no, he doesn't have his Dragon's Rage. It is down. So, there's Lee Sin. Let's see if he goes in for Shimo or goes in for the enemy jungle, sees it. And now he gets a free uh, blue. And he doesn't ward his jungle. Well, he didn't have a ward. And that is free, my friends. He could clear. It's so worth clearing these, man. 21 gold each. I think they're taking like 3 or 4 gold off that. Whenever you kill a monster and you have your jungle item completed, it gives you 20 extra gold. So it is gone. Alright, there's the root. The sonic wave gonna miss. Let's see if he safeguards on some... Boom, Tempest gets a kill. Level 7. Wukong ganks bottom, now his red's about to spawn. So he shows bottom without his red, of course, through shot. They might get a kill. No, they don't get a kill. Yeah, he is going to be so far behind. And and getting his decoy is one of the reasons why he's struggling right now with the longsword build. Uh, you know, when, when you're a beginner in a jungle or if you're playing low elo, you, picking up your jungle item is a must. You know, I recommend that every game that he plays and gets a jungle item, he rushes Juggernaut on everything. Just so he understands how to, you know, just get through it and, and, and survive. You know, if he decides to build, you know, Warrior, not a good idea. Because he's not gonna be a, be alive. He's level 5. He's gonna be under level. He's just gonna get two-pieced. Unless, of course, he gets a nice ulti off and gets the follow-up. Um, yeah, he gets the follow-up from his team. 
So red just spawned. He's gonna come over and do lead two kids. He drops uh uh his decoy, only using more mana. He's kind of low. Hits level six now. Finally, at the uh, almost 11 minute mark. Now he's gonna back and. He's gonna back. Oh fuck! I didn't move everybody in their spots. No, oh, there we go. This is gonna snowball out of control. Help him, Trey. There's nothing I can do for him, man. He goes back and picks up another longsword. You know, sometimes you know people gotta realize, you know. This is silver five, man. This is pretty much borderline bronze. This is what you get in bronze. These are the people that you get on your team. And, you know, these guys don't try to learn the game. They go in here blindly, maybe not reading the patch notes, not in the game, like, compared to you are, even though you're in... Oh, he drops a ward. He leaves his red buff up. And now he's trying to make a play. Red buff is the most important thing in the game as a jungler, man. You just do not let it sit there, man. That, that, that's everything, man. You're slow... And of course, it's one of your buffs that spawns in the jungle. All right, so Lee said top. We'll call, uh, let's see, top lane. It's like, oh no, it's gonna come in, drops the ulti. Let's see if he can land the skill. Does land the skill, and there's the blade and the chop. Why? What the fuck would you ignite him for? Like fucking just ignite him and just walk away. So, the shit mode dying again. It's already 1800, uh, 18k to 13k. Red team's turret has been destroyed. Oh man. Oh no. Goes in. It doesn't even use his ulti either, and looks like he gives up his buff. So I mean, the struggle of of starting a longsword is just too much, man. He is he's done. Lee Sin's already completed his jungle item. Now you don't get anything like any benefits for finishing your jungle item like in season four, like enchanting it. Like in season four. In season four, you had, you know, you completed that shit, you got your elder lizard, like right off the bat at the six minute mark, and the other jungler is behind. Holy shit, you're gonna be making extra gold. Uh, karma comes back up, there's the roots. You know, you got your conservation stacks, it may not be enough, you might not see the difference, but you know, uh, when you understand that, you know, when you're ahead of somebody, it all, and you're a jungler, and you're able to compete and just carry games, like you were able to in season four and carry and just out, you know, you stay the same level of solo laners, but you can get higher than them as a jungler and just fucking hit people really hard depending on the jungler you're playing. So, you know, this season, it's like I play a Moo Moo. Do I need to finish Juggernaut? What does it do? If anything, all Juggernaut does is it gives me tenacity. That's, that's it. There's the uh, Shamo. He goes down to a missile from Fork. You know, the only thing that would be worth, uh, you know, or... You know be complete you would want to complete first is the stack item that's it well of course if you're playing an ap champion in the jungle then complete your jungle item with you know complete your jungle item would be worth uh if you're ap if you bought the ap one because of course 20 percent cdr on an ap champion you know if you're playing that it's just spamming abilities and that's always a plus um um and then you know warrior what do you fucking do you know if, if, if you're playing pantheon you you, you uh Oh shit, this is not good. He grabs the blue buff. Yeah, if you're going warrior, you can get a black cleaver or a ghost blade. If you feel like you, ghost blade's gonna be a better, uh, so you're able to uh, uh, get the extra movement speed. But you know, a lot of times when you dominate in the jungle, like somebody like Lee Sin, warrior, yeah, yeah, just go ahead and complete it. You're gonna do a little bit extra damage, I think. It gives, deals, uh, deals 10% armor, uh, armor penetration. Let's see, deals 45. Additional magic damage to monsters. Might can be cast on champions. So yeah, I mean, whoop the fucking do. You get a little extra AD. Um, so hmm. But yeah, that's the. Oh my god. What? What the fuck is he doing?
All right, so it looks like Wukong is going to go ahead and do his below. He's struggling with it, man. He still hasn't completed his jungle item. Has enough for a brutalizer right now. Top is getting dominated super hard. There's the ignite. There's the blade. See if he's able to keep up. Hits his Q. Gets a little bit of move speed. Drops the chicken. So he one shot. Hits that uh, uh, undying rage and survives that with ease. Hit Q. Get some HP back. So yeah, there's no control. He's probably gonna die here going on to this uh, Zyra. There's the roots. Oh my god. And there's the insta burst. You know, being under level, this is why if you don't know what you're doing in the jungle, you just farm because that won't happen to you. And of course, building the right items is always a good uh, thing, but your mid laner lost to Zyra, and Zyra's doing so much damage right now with her M Morello Namacon and uh, her, her rod. As we're going on to the court. <sighs> Alright, who's on a rampage? Ezreal's on a rampage. Can he carry this game? There is Wukong getting the ulti up. At least Sand gonna get locked down. Drops Warden! That's gonna be bonus gold. He picks up the 500 gold. I don't know if that was a good idea. Ezreal would've been nice with that. But that just pretty much resets him. So he's gonna be worth something. That dude looks so fucking slow. I would have a field day on this motherfucker right here, guys. I'd mount this motherfucker so hard. To the mouth. He'd be feeding. He'd fucking die at least 16 times. Like, if some... Yeah. But I don't play at that elo, so yeah. Let's just stop talking about it. But I hate this champion, guys. I hate this fucking champion with fashion. Look at the fucking thing. Alright, so let's get back. Level 8. You know, if I was him, jungle item completed. Gotta go full tank. Go full tank. Uh, let me Let me tell him. Go full tank. If he goes Randuins and, and, yeah, if he goes Randuins and Banshees, it leaves a little bit of room, you know, he's, he might be able to do something. <laughs> Alright, let's see what Bad Religion. Alright, shut down for somebody. Alright, so good. He's, he is going around doing some good shit. Got armor. Uh, they have double AD, a top jaw with triple AD. Well, the Corgi is a little bit of half and half. Of course, doing a lot of AD damage. There's the kick. Boom, missed out. Smited, slowed, and walked into Zyra. Boom. Rip. So, yeah, that's gonna keep happening. We're going to smite that. What the fuck is he doing? Oh my god. And Zyra, boom. Hook comes back in. Does he have ulti? There's the true shot. Ezreal doing some work. There's the heal. The root. And looks like he might go down. The free throw coming out from the uh, from the cork. Much action. Cor uh, Mundo coming in with the flank arenos. Two cans like, hold up. Ooh, uh -huh. Rip. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know what he was thinking though going in the way he was going. He needs to get out of there. Oh, he's gonna go down. Ignite. We'll tick. And looks like uh, he's in the wrong territory. Uh, 
He might be giving up some bonus gold. He looks around and he gets blinded. Get shit on. There's not dying rage. Probably not off damage unless he gets five crits in a row. He is not getting five crits in a row. All right, that's gonna be the second dragon. And dragons are very important now, guys. Like very important. You gotta understand one thing. That, you know, when you get extra damage to turrets, but the thing is, you gotta know what to do with it, of course, you know, uh, you know, I still got a lot to learn. This is patch day. I'm actually not supposed to be doing spectates. I'm supposed to actually try to learn the game. Uh, I might have to do that after this. But it's okay. What is today? Tomorrow's trash day, guys. Thank God. I missed last trash day, so, you know, it smells pretty fucking bad. The garage is smelling like fucking, oh my god, rip. Shit, that pepperoni pizza might be still in that shit. It might have, like, grew into something. Let's crank. Oh my god, are they gonna do anything? No, the whole team's there. The hook misses. The line put on some blitz. Yo, man, yeah, missing trash day was really bad. Like, I got fucking, uh, I need trash day, there. I need the, 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 oh my god. Wukong slides in, true shot, hits three people! Cyclone doing damage, Lee Sin comes back and he's getting work done! That right there is what you want to see come out from Wukong after having such struggle in this, come out and, ooh, Ezreal landing some cues. Flash in from Karma trying to get a kill on one of these Corkies and Mundo ain't stopping guys. This guy goes where he pleases. He's gonna walk through that turret. Heal has been used. He gets hooked in. Laser beam taken like a bounce. Dies for the team. Shimbo is one slow motherfucker. Watch him get hooked. I'm too happy team. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm going to this right here. I'm gonna hide right here. Nobody will know. I'll go through the laser beam. Look at me. I'm a dead motherfucker. Fuck ass bitch. Alright, he's dead. Rip. That would have been some funny shit if he just posted up and pretended. Like, he actually, like, sat behind the fucking thing. He sat behind there and just, like, pretended like nobody is fucking. No, he was there. Like, nobody saw him. I'd, I'd fucking be dying. I would be dying. Oh, so Ezreal, I guess, you know, after getting those, that, those cleanup kills, he's overextended. And this is the last motherfucker you want to see is uh, Hong Kong Chewy. He's like, yo, man, what's up, baby? I got some chickens for you. Rip around. And there's the kick right across the mouth and the chop chop from Hong Kong. Chop chop. All right, Wukong going to pick up his rev up. And, and look, I didn't even tell him to build full tank. He already knew to build full tank, so that's a good sign right there. Bad Religion could have picked up something like another Brutalizer, worked on a Black Cleaver, and just got two-piece. So him being able to drop his ulti is going to give his team a chance to, you know, do something here. I mean, you know, tank build coming out from uh, uh, Wuko, I mean, Amundo equals Peelage plus the ulti knockup. It's not going to be maximum damage coming out from Bad Religion. I mean, nobody really super farmed out there. I mean, they got kills besides Trindamir. Corky got some decent CS. Uh, Corky's got two. I mean, the blue team's got two dragons underneath their belt. But I think Wukong needs to be with this team. This is one thing in the hook onto Mundo. But he's going to get chopped chopped. There's the Ignite. Unless that's the Morellas. No, I think it's the Ignite. And Trindamir is still going in. Gets lined. Hadouken coming out. True shot. Later, bitch. He gets locked down. And those are missing by a mile. Needs to be a little bit careful. Um... Uh, that Morella is going to uh, reduce that healing. Wukong coming around the side. There is a war right there. And Lee Sin just clearing his pink. Let's see if he's able to get in here. I, I don't know what the fuck this is. But he tried to back right there. He goes on to Ez. But has to back up. And there's a couple abilities coming out. And hitting him in his back. Uh, I don't know if Anxiety uh, is, knows what he's doing, but if he would have died to that plant, I uh, would have been 
really bad. And Karma coming in. And oh, there's the uh, Cyclone, but nobody there following up. And a little bit too late. I don't know what he's doing. Failing to realize that Mundo had the back. Might have been able to port in. No, his port's down. Shimmo's not there. And it's just Karma and Ezra that's kind of low. Holy shit, that Karma mantra. Too fucking broken. Listen, the Blind Monk. Holy shit, the heal being used. And it looks like Karma's gonna go down. Will she take out Triple Kill? Shimmo comes in. Poison and look at this. This is anybody's game right now. So I mean, you know, the you know the, the more fights that happen and uh, uh, The more red gets these kills and even if the, the blue team gets kills off the red team if they're not getting the objectives off uh, of, of this red team, they're only uh, You know stalling the game out for them giving themselves uh, Time to finish giving the enemy team uh, time to finish, you know certain you know objectives are being open They're pushing down the mid uh, they want to die this Shimmo auto attack, baby. Shoot that motherfucker. There you go, boy. Boom. Shimmo picks up a th uh, picks up another kill. That's pretty much an ace right there. That you know momentum could shift here, but now they gotta watch out for the counter push. There's the roots coming out. Ezra coming back out into the field. Uh, dragon is up in 53. Will they go for it? If they give up another dragon, that's gonna give movement speed over to the blue team. They already have two dragons, which gives um, 15%. Uh, the second one gives 15% uh, uh, damage uh, to towers and buildings. Um, the first one is 6% on the AP and AD. Uh, I mean, so, you know, to get a little upgrades right there is something you don't want to give out for free. And Ezreal off to the side needs to be a little bit careful. Mundo going top. Oh, rip around, lay the bitch, and let's see if she gets her whole combo out, but she decides not to use it. You could use abilities as you're about to die, and you had your ulti flash up. No, flash was, no, ah, no, I think it's down for just a little bit, and now it's up. Wukong up to the side, Shitmo's got red buff, Dragon is about to spawn in 8 seconds, they don't know, Dark Phoenix sitting in the bush, Lil Fuckmo is just chilling, top lane, Trinomir gonna go down, and Karma is supremely, you know, carried that last fight, and there's the missiles coming out, Dragon, there it is. Free throw coming out, Bad Religion needs to be very careful, they, oh, he shoots the missile the wrong way. Punk lands on the young fuck mo and he gets beastified. <laughs> he gets beastified right there. So this is a bad idea. Mundo is back. Mushroom being hit. There is the Hadouken coming out from uh, Karma. She's doing a little bit of damage. Corky have HP. Will they fight for this? They're looping around. Um, Trinomir is dead. It's going to be a 4v4 if uh, Mundo ports in. And Karma just walking in the wrong neighborhood. Going to get... Uh, hooked in. Wukong could do something. Gets knock up. And there's Mundo with the telly. The flash fail. Uh, Hazara coming in. Missing all her abilities. Nope. Never mind. Gets her ulti off. Mundo's sitting in it. And looks like Wukong is... They have no damage right here. They have no damage. True shot. Where is Ezreal? Oh, he's off to the side. So they just re-threw it over. Back to the red team. All starting with uh, Young Shitmo. Blitzcrank flashes over. And let's see if he gets a Q. See, there's the uh, face the mountain, the heal. Oh, fight that dude. And that's the third dragon, guys. I repeat, the third dragon. Shimmo, I got this, guys! <laughs> I just want to see a picture of the guy playing this fucking champion right now. Just like right next to this. So I can just see. <laughs> I just want to see what a person that mains Demo looks like. He's probably got his fuck mo hat on too. I don't know about this champion. Oh my god, Lee Sin gonna get a uh, get the kill off as. Oh man, I'm done with this game. Low tier K throws, yeah. Oh uh, yeah, overlay. There's no overlays, guys. Just got to read title. I um the overlays aren't done yet. When I get the overlays, I'll use them. I can't use the old overlays compared to what the new ones look like. They're so good. Oh, hold on. Oh, this is silver? Actually, hold on. This is silver, right? Silver 5. I actually have the overlays for this. I'm sorry. Alright, so yeah, I do have this one. But yeah, I thought this was gold for some reason. Yeah, the new ones, this is silver 5. These would look really nice. They would look really nice. Okay, so let me actually move this down because... Alright, I'm gonna have to remove Toucan. Alright, alright. Let me move this brick just down a little bit. Alright, so yeah, that's what the, the new ones look like.
Oh, this ain't silver one though. Well, I'll just leave it silver one. It's silver five. It says silver five right there. Why the fuck does it keep saying one? Uh, or maybe that is five. One, two, four, three. Oh, okay, there's not a five, that's why. It's supposed to be a five, but it still shows a more than Unless that's that's Roman numeral. No, that's not because it's a B. I know this shit. Uh oh shit. No. Okay, now it's fucked. Alright. What what did I just do wrong guys? I did something wrong. There we go. Alright, so they just re-threw the game back over, gave up another dragon. It's hard to say how this game's gonna turn out, you know? It's hard to say. Shitmo does a lot of damage. Scuttle, Scuttle's, like, counters Shitmo. If you kill Scuttle's, you're playing Shitmo. You gotta know when that bitch spawns so you can kill him. Shitmo's getting chased down right now. Let's see. Boom! The God's hand! Lands the missile at the same time with the two-pointer. Dragon, I mean, Baron being leashed. They're not gonna do it. He spits all over everyone. Oh my god. They need to be a little bit careful. There's the Frost Queen or is it the Ice Queen? I think it's the Frost Queen. I thought it was the Ice Queen. My bad. Leashes two can gets that flux all over him. Uh, true shot coming out. Wukong getting his ulti off. He lands through that. So let me. I didn't miss them. Well, all right. So there's the ulti from what do you call it? Zara N S, and he gets the Nimbus crushing lands that, but gonna have to back off the heal being used by Quirky and that land. Oh, there's the true shot. Mundo comes in. There's the speed up. Dark Phoenix and the Q lands onto the Corkscrew. Hong Kong just chilling on hell, man. I'm ready to chop some shit up, baby. There's the roosters, chicken, whatever you want to call it. Looks like Karma's gonna die. No line coming out. And let's see, he's got a thorn. Oh, you don't want to hit that dude. And Trinimer gets the double kill. I'm <clears> gonna <throat> make that uh. Well, of course he gets that one, and that's gonna be game mode. Right. Go do bear. Yeah, they re threw this game pretty hard. They threw this game pretty hard. What the fuck did he do? Like, look at this dude. Look at this fucking guy. He's got some fucking balls doing whatever. Fuck this. We're watching replay again. Hey guys! I'm coming in! Hey, yo, what the fuck, bitch ass mo? Who you fucking with the wrong dude? <laughs> to the mouth, baby. TRK mouth. Damn, right in his fucking mouth. Boom, over the fucking head. Flip the Reno. Dead as a motherfucker. All right, back to the game. Oh, Trinity Mirror says, hey, what's up, man? Blade being used, he gets a little bit of move speed. I don't know if this trainer has been drinking a little bit too much, but um, he don't give two fucks. He's chopping shit. Damn, there's the Nimbus. Ezreal gets the shutdown, so getting greedy. Blitzcrank shows up. Mm. There's a hook on to Bad Religion. Looks like he's gonna go down. Gets a Cyclone off before he goes down. There's a true shot, so Blitz is gonna die here and rip. Mundo gets that kill. Let's see if he can land his cleaver. Nope, he doesn't get it off. Or I think he might have. Sparky shows up, he's double buffed up. Anxiety for him. Oh. One in ten, and then mid lane seven and nine. Ezreal, 8 and 6, 130 CS. He's, he's pretty much wasted 20 minutes. It's like almost 20 minutes of wasted time for Ezreal not farming or doing anything. And going down in uh, Dragon doesn't help either. So it's just adding up, adding up, and it's just becoming harder and harder 
uh, for the red team to win this, even though you know it shifted over and it was looking good for the red team. It looked like they were gonna make a little comeback, but then get you know the next dragon spawn and Shimo got hooked in and they decided to hang around and people just you know fail focus, get caught, and, you know positioning just not there. People being over here, th that guy's over here. So it's rough times, man. All right, so Wukong, like he has no control of this game. So we're gonna go ahead and let's see. As we're gonna, oh, uh, Karma gonna get worked. There's Quark again. Uh, uh, Cyclone, but it's not enough damage. And there's the Sonic Wave. He gets it. There's the, uh, ooh, gets smited. True damage. Uno Flash is on top of Quark. He gets the kill. Don't want to auto attack this guy. He's got Thornmail. So Blitz coming in through the back. Let's see if his hook is up. There's the root, the hook, and that's his death. So that's definitely gonna be an inhib tower unless uh karma has anything uh to do to stop this i don't know though they don't do a lot of damage but let's see three minions with another minion wave coming in okay yeah they have that extra they have two dragons so it deals extra damage a turn they have two inhib towers down yeah, this game looks like it's over. Let me see if I can get bad religion on Curse Voice right now. see if he wants to come on all right so he's on his way we'll have a we'll have a talk the game's already over it's gonna be too hard to catch up from this and the fourth dragon being picked up just became even harder uh yeah bad religion i added you on uh what do you call it Uh, did you not get my invite? My friends request something. There he goes in. You see the damage he's doing. This is what happens when you don't stay up and farm. You're two levels below. You only have one item that deals damage. And Cork is able to just tank all that. Oh, there's the mushroom coming out. Lee Sin comes in onto the karma, drops that dragon's rage, finishes her off. Ezreal in the back right now, getting work, not doing enough damage. Drops a true shot, but there's the Zanyas, and looks like Mundo frontline and not able to tank. So, um, let's get bad religion on here. Yo, what's going on, man? How's it going? Uh, good, good. So, what? Why'd you start longsword? Uh, it was a complete accident, personally. Like, uh, I just totally like oversought the fact that I bought it, and I'm like, why the fuck is this jungle kicking my ass so much? And then I look at my inventory, I'm like, oh my god, I'm like I'm like the stupidest person alive right now. So you you just didn't know? I mean, like. Yeah, no, like I, like I'm so used to uh, like just doing the the like I got it set up to where like. I, I just, you know, right click three things and I'm good to go and for whatever reason I right clicked the wrong thing and didn't notice it. Oh, okay. So yeah, yeah, that jungle just spanked you, man. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm like, why? Like, usually I, I play a lot of Wukong jungle, like even in the new, like, 420 patch. And, like, I, I was like, why is it kicking my ass so hard today? Yeah. But yeah, I, that, that was probably a, a pretty poor performance. Like, um, I definitely had no control over the map like i felt it felt like it was lost to begin with like as soon as i realized i had a long sword in my inventory instead of a, a machete i mean yeah that, that that definitely sucks you know early game for you i mean you guys were making a little bit com a little comeback but you know your shit mo though you got to be there to, <clears throat> to clean him up and when, yeah. you, when you when you're behind it's it's just going to be too hard i definitely watched the replay and watched both of uh both of the teams play just so you kind of get an idea of what you have to carry. Well, when did you get out of bronze? 
Uh, actually, just before the season ended, I, I don't play rank too much. So I just kind of made a push. I started in bronze five this season. I just went straight to uh, silver five. Played like 40 games or something. Oh, wow, that's not bad. So 40 games and you just got out? Yeah. All right, so, I mean, if you want to improve, you know, well, it's going to be hard to, uh, uh, you know, see what the difference would have been if you started Machete. But, you know, regardless, when you're that far behind, you know, you know, leaving your red buff early, you know, up after you, you remember when you hit level six and you went back and you bought after uh, two can camp and then uh, you didn't go to your red, but you decided to go bottom and gank that. You don't want to leave your yeah. buffs up, man. You're already behind. At least do something to where you can put yourself back in the game and just pray that Lee Sin doesn't make too many plays. You went down too many dragons. I don't know if you've been keeping track of that. You can attack. Oh, yeah, see. I was keeping track the whole time. I okay. were down four dragons, so. And, and Shitmo, though. Shitmo was struggling. Ezra was doing pretty well, but, you know, he pretty much just did not get the farm. He just sat on his IE and tried for us. Mundo was... You know, at the point where he's tanking, but you know, people don't know what to do with the lead they get, you know, you know, or, yeah. or just when they.